Hello, Tyler. How's it going? Welcome to our interview series. Uh, how's your quarantine going so far? I mean, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm spending a lot of time with myself, getting to know myself pretty good right now. For those people out there who are unfortunate enough to already know you, can you introduce yourself a little bit? Uh, I'm Tyler Gibney with Heavyweight Gallery, uh, based in Los Angeles. Right now, I'm in lockdown in Echo Park. You want to walk us through your studio setup? Uh, are you at home? Or? I'm at home right now. I'm in my uh, little DIY painting studio. This is Echo Park to the left. When did you get that studio set up going? I set it up right at the beginning of the quarantine, actually, because I knew I was going to uh, be at home a lot and I wouldn't be able to go to the gallery and the studio there. So I knew it was going to be kind of uh, set up. I, I'm spending a lot of time at home, so I wanted to get a little set up and kind of, you know, have something to work out, you know, spend my time, keep my mind right. Is it different from your normal studio setup that you had before the quarantine or is that, is it kind of um, like? Yes. Well, I mean, because usually I'm, I'm kind of doing the gallery, running the gallery and doing more, you know, we have a physical gallery off Melrose and Fairfax there. So, you know, that's much more of a working space, artist space with different artists and stuff. Whereas this, I used to be, a, do a lot more art, Back in the days when I was in Montreal, we used to be like a kind of a performance art painting troupe. And we used to travel around, do a lot of like live painting and stuff. So we, I used to do a lot of painting back, in, you know, and then since the curation and running the gallery goes a lot more in helping other artists do their artwork. So now that I'm back alone, um, it's kind of been a nice time to revisit a lot of this stuff and get back into it. And it looks like you have a nice perch there overlooking Echo Park Lake. Is that in inspiring or informing any of the painting? Yes, and I can see uh, I can <laughs> see the people in the park. Maybe they should be a little bit more social distancing, but uh, yeah, it's kind of interesting. What's your stance on uh, social distancing, quarantining, and just like the virus in general? What are your takeaways thus far? we all have to kind of work together to beat this, you know? So that's why I think I'm kind of, everyone has to do their part by just staying at home and kind of maintaining that distance so we can beat that. So I think right now it's kind of, uh, and it's interesting, like doing this, doing all these different, uh, I've never been on the phone so much, texting so much, Zoom meetings, you know, it's an interesting way of communicating right now. And I think it's kind of cool. And we also have the other gallery in Berlin. So I'm also talking with them a lot because Everyone's in the same situation. You can talk to people in Paris, you can talk to people in New York, you know, all over the world. It's uh, it's kind of interesting times. Yeah, do you think it's gonna shift kind of how we interact moving forward? And uh, in terms of art making, do you think that art world is gonna be affected like even after the quarantine? I think this is a seismic change. I think it's a huge change. I think the way that we look at the environment, the way we look at each other, the way that we look at our health system, our social systems, our family units, I think all of it is really going to change. The situation is going to change for everybody. I think it's like, you, 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 it's going to be like pre and post, you know, like things are just going to be a different way of looking at things. And I think even with hygiene and, and, and people, I mean, I, I don't know if the, the fist, I think the fist pump might come back. Maybe the short, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it might be just like this from like five feet away. I don't know. And so the paintings you've been working on, are they, are they different? Like, are they being um, informed by the quarantine or is it kind of business? I mean, I'm definitely, I mean, it's, it's a little work in progress. Um, but with this yeah. one, it's, it's definitely a bit of a, a, a communal party scene. So it's kind of like I'm creating a little bit of my own thing. With the like online parties and even how you've been conducting your own business with the gallery, um, mm -hmm. how do you find them to be successful in 
kind of filling the void. I think it's really interesting right now for galleries because you're seeing all these galleries trying to go through these, you know, changes because how, you know, galleries are opening. So they're, they're spots, they're, they're physical platforms and meeting spaces to share the artists that lots of times the artists are developing in the studio. And then it's, you know, it's that communal experience. And especially for us, especially for our shows, we have like quite large turnouts and they're quite events and they're quite celebration. So, you know, the whole, we, any gallery, you can't have more than two or three people in any one place right now. So it's like you're that whole, and you don't even feel comfortable doing that. So it's like the whole situation has changed. So I think galleries right now are just becoming more the, the framework to like still have that infrastructure for the artists, you know? And so what, what, is, what are your, out, what's your outlook on kind of where this is all going? I know it's a shot in the dark for kind of everyone. We're taking it day by day, but like, what's your perspective if you have one? on kind of where we're going with this quarantine and what we can expect in the future. Day to day, keep, stay positive, keep your head up, you know what I mean? Stay healthy, stay in touch, stay at home. You know, that's what we just got to do. And, and we have to get the right information from the right people and, and just respect the curve. And hopefully this curve is going to flatten out soon. I think we're in it right now. And I think the thing we have to do is just like make it through and then after we hindsight, so is 2020. And I think, you know, this administration's done a horrible job dealing with this stuff. But I think right now we need, you know, uh, the CDC and, 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 and people to lead the way. And we have to, you know, have science is science. It's not opinion. Science is fact, you know, and we need fact right now. And we need, that's what we need. Heavyweight. Screen to screen.